Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Shizia Let's Play. We continue for episode 3 from turn 24 in the autumn season of 204. And as we pick things back up, we're at war with Meng Huo, and we're marching our army through the rest of Zheljir to pick up the tea for ourselves. And then we're going to wrap our way up to his capital of Jianning, which is going to be the most lucrative commander in the game because it has three income-producing counties, and we're going to make it our sort of fifth and final commander here for the early part of our game as we go tall to hit our duke rank. Furthermore, we have an invading army headed our way, and we're going to summon our brother here. And everyone's a little bit unhappy about the new kid that we adopted. We had to add generals to our rank, so uh, Zhang Song became one of our officers, our middle son, is rather sad about that. And we can fix that. We can give him one of the administrator titles. Administrator title for industry, for commerce. So where he's situated in Zheljir, none of these are great. But if we're going to give him something, at least we have a 300 base industry here. So that's probably the best we can do. And we're going to put him as our attending secretary. The expertise boost will also increase his construction cost discount. Just to make him at a decent happiness with us. Our general on the field, we're going to go up with mobility. And then I guess pick up stone bork. We just want the bonus for our cavalry units. We probably have a decent enough horse for her to ride in. We don't have armor yet. We're going to try to get some better armor. And then we're going to pick up a chest for her to use. We're going to do the Lord's chest for her to boost her stat and increase the rate she rank up. Which might come back to bite us, but she is going to be in a decent court position. That's going to be okay. This boosts all her stats. And let's see. Not only are we going to put the three generals here, we're probably going to give them an army. Who should lead? He's going to lead because there's at least some wing commanding stats on him. As for what units we're going to recruit, that's going to be a much more difficult question. We don't want to overspend here. But we also don't want to get caught without a solution to that army approaching us. The garrison isn't going to help much. I'll come back to this at the end of the turn. We're going to first take a look at our May army. It's going rather smoothly, conquering Meng Huo's territory. We're going to send her back to... Tang Wu for this turn, so that she can be back when the structure is ready to go. We have empty slots, which I think we're going to actually just go land development instead of state workshop. Maybe no, maybe we don't need to focus the food here. We can still do that at Tang Wu, Zheljir, and maybe a little bit at Zhang Ke, given it's so low tier right now we can kind of choose what buildings we want we don't go marketplace early basically we got a free marketplace here which is why we're keeping it all right we have the cash just how much we want to spend we could go Jian sword guard definitely a decent unit drama Jian. it's not what we need they're the same cost in terms of upkeep which is really all we're considering here The difference here is really about the morale and a little bit of a little bit of damage change. The tax speed going down is not a good thing. Charge going down, it's a much more defensive unit. We actually get a little bit of Hmm, maybe we actually go axe band. Cuz the axe damage would be great for shield breaking against all those spear guard units. And it's rather cheap.
Yeah, I think that could work. Uh, do we want to give them titles? That's the other question. What we could do is try to unlock one of these titles for the administrator position. For population growth or public order or peasantry would be even better. We need to win three battles with a character with superstitious. Hard to get. Uh, we don't have one right now. That's also hard to get. Mm, these are difficult. So maybe not. We'll spend the money. We've been saving. Okay, for her, we're going to do something a little bit different. Because she's administrator, her retinue will eventually... Well, actually, technically, he's administrator too. Hmm, how temporary do we want to go? Alright, we'll just recruit this just to fend off that first army. We're going to get crossbowmen and two cavalry units for this. Alright, that should be fine. We're not spending too much. We still have a little bit of income. I believe this should be counteracted a bit, plus eight for supporting our allies, so it'll work its way out a little bit faster. And let's continue. More kids. A granddaughter, I believe. They're the lifeblood of our faction in the future. Uh, we're going to go straight for it. And then we're going to go up to Jianning, as mentioned earlier. I don't see him approaching yet, which is a good thing. Now, I was considering going defensive here, but now that we have put an army in place, I think we'll be fine. And we can probably just do the inbuilding. Essentially capitalizing on the final form of the land development, which we'll get here, where we can technically sell food in the future once we break out of uh, having a tall build and gain more land, we can do this and get a little bit of commerce boost. So in would be fine here for now. You know, we can go pure peasantry with a tax collection. That could also work, actually. There's many ways to do this. Right. Regardless of what we do, we need more food before we can really play around with this. So he needs a chest, actually. We need another industrialist chest. These figures are all completely wrong. And I feel like we can cancel this and do it in one turn instead of two. Yeah, so this is fine. We're doing okay, as long as Swinso doesn't surprise us too much. So he's going to pick off our vassals. As long as he doesn't wipe out the faction, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's bond with our brother here. Now, these are all going to be Han characters, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we'll get any bandits. Because those generic female bandits would be something. In a sense, we might... Oh, we probably should have fought it. But I figured it would be okay. Yeah, that delegate value was really bad, actually. As I was saying, we probably could have kept that bandit faction alive a bit longer and maybe try to farm out a character. But I think we'll be okay. It's spring again. Let's see what we can get. 
Do we want the satisfaction to champions? It doesn't really matter at this point, actually. We could just get character salary discounts, which actually matters for us. Because we have them in high positions. Hmm. Still concerned about the food. Yeah, we really would like that. So let's actually go here first. If we pick this up first, maybe we can just get the discount on all the green buildings. We're going to be building a ton of those. Uh, we don't have anyone to shorten turns because everyone is so busy and we don't have any more family members. We might actually want to focus on food production here instead of income. So let's go that route. Uh, for the port, we're going to go with income. But for the peasantry multiplier, that's something we can sacrifice. State workshop. Hmm, really wish we could get someone here to speed this up, but since we can't, we're just going to build it. Now we're stuck here for a good while. Mm, that was a really bad delegate. Anyways, uh, we still have faction council, trade influence. We do have more commerce here. That's not bad. We get to steal a new character. Sign us up. Even though this is pretty good, but we actually really would like to get someone who is going to be our family because they are heir. This should be our brother's wife. Yeah, they have unfortunately died. I believe he and Lu Ji didn't have kids. Therefore, I'm not sure if Lu Ji is going to be in our family. That's why we have less points from family member as faction leader. So Lu Ji as our vassal down here is not actually doing anything for us. And if Sun Tzu wants to wipe out some of her land, that'd be great. She's superstitious. Ooh. I think we can make a play for this, but she would have to be on the field. What we can do is put her here. Hmm, we drop below, which does hurt our satisfaction for this turn. Hopefully it's okay. Alright. We might want to pay attention to the characters that do come to us in case some of them are from our wiped out family. Which might be a bit difficult to identify. So he's going to bounce back. I want to actually stand here and get him mustering here for a turn. We want to keep going. We don't want to give them too much time to rebuild. They went to colonize. That's a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Uh, let's get ourselves more food so we can build taller. Three more turns of that assignment.
Ooh, Mulus expanding this way. Okay. I thought they pieced out. More kids. Okay, this is someone who did work for one of our vassals, but unlikely to be related to us. Hmm, that's nice. Um, we can kind of replace it with what we have here. More stats. Uh, we can trade this to our son later. Could have just done it this turn, but it's fine. Alright, we're gonna fight this manually. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Of course it rains again. Hmm. It's okay, we still don't have any fire. It's not really a big problem. We actually have more siege weapons now, so... No, oh, they're coming out. Mm, let's see, how far can we push this? Yeah, the damage is going to be great. We're going to be okay. They're never going to make it. We'll take a bit of casualty here. Should probably just pull them back. Torch them. And that's it. Could have been cleaner. Lost about 29 men here, but about a turn of replenishment, we should be okay. Okay, nice and upgraded. Get the extra building slot out first.
If he takes Nanhai, do we take it back? We could take it back and trade it to him. Yeah, just to make them happy. If we lose Gaudian, we can take this and create a new vassal. Because they are no longer our family member, which is a big loss for us. Alright, I think I'm going to actually pay up and assign someone here. We get a few more points, 5 points of Splendor for this position. I think that's it. Maybe a little check of Diplomacy. They're counterattacking. Ooh, we have another daughter and another nephew. Big family. This is going to be pretty interesting in the late game. Who's who in the family? I'm pulling another one of these as we are building out Jianye in the future. It's only level 1. It's so under-leveled for the 200 start. We're not going to have corruption issues, at least not in the early game. We just don't have a lot of land. That's not any of our concern. Actually, I would like to build something that takes longer than a turn, so we can fully utilize this bonus and reset it. We can reset it in Zhangku actually. That place needs a lot more build up. Administrator level up. I think we just go straight for the bottom line here. Ah, items for our son. Right, slight upgrade here. That's pretty much it. It's a pretty big price. Ah, someone else helping us out. We haven't been looking at this because we've been doing pretty well, I think, overall. We don't have to fight any of the Han factions, so it's not really concerning us at all. It's not a bad list of traits. Like, she will have minus 5% corruption as a faction-wide bonus in the future, plus 5 satisfaction, plus 2 food, all the commander trees, and then also movement. This is definitely a character we can consider adopting. We can't marry her into the family. Everyone is... Oh! Our strange sibling has died. Yeah, we're just gonna have to adopt her here. Which is gonna cause a stir in the family again. Uh, I can actually make her my heir for a much better bonus than my current son, who is gonna be really ticked off if I... I pop him off this position. Let's ease him into it until our next rank up, so at least I can drop him down to one of these positions. In the meantime, you need a husband. Got herself another champion. A vanguard would have been nice, but champion's fine. If we don't like him, and we see someone else better of it. Okay, so I kind of hate him already. Mm, maybe decent administrator? No, it's pretty bad. What we can do is just 
pay the divorce, kick him out. If we see a good vanguard show up, we can marry that way. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna divorce, and then we're gonna just kick him out right now before they have a kid and he just ends up in the family. All right, we'll have a single lady for once. Uh, she could be a good assignment character. We can have have her stand in Jianye for a little bit. Right, that's undefended. You know what? Let's summon her here. She can take that path. Get us Xianye without running into any resistance. Wulu might be, you know, headed there. But that's why we're going to try to see if we can beat him to it. I mean, he definitely rebuilt his army, which is why he doesn't want to peace out with us. But we don't know where it is. Yeah, we're pretty much stuck. Oh, there they are. So they're going to be attacking... Zonkul before Zonkul has walls. Well, Zonkul will never have walls, right? It's a uh, Naman territory. Hmm. I'm gonna retreat him out of the settlement. I can definitely loop him. But I think we don't have to. Sun Tzu is on his way, so we can't move this army. Mm. What we can try to do is see if we can... Maybe force a peace deal. But I doubt he'll say yes. Alrighty, so our game crashed here. I'm gonna fight it again, see if it crashed again or not. I think for this campaign, we're not going to loop, so I'm going to let them take Zhangke and maybe even the trade port, and this army will turn around after we pick up Jianning. Hopefully, Menghuo doesn't have two stacks. I don't think I don't think they can support that type of economy. Um, we'll hit them from here. Really hoping. They don't have... Actually, I'm kind of hoping they charge out. If they can charge out, that'd be great. They don't want to be in the trees. For obvious reasons. And it is always raining here. I think ever since we got Juggernauts, every single fight we stepped in has been in the rain. Not that it has stopped us, but still. Yep, they're coming. This makes things a lot easier, actually. Just gonna focus down that. Uh, let's start this. Torch them, please. I need to torch this guy. Yep. Gonna go send him in just to finish that off. Alright, nice and clean.
万民之声，不可小觑。百姓定会箪食胡浆，家道欢迎。We can try to diplomatically solve that. That's one option we have. We can also try to ambush here. There's a nice little bit of forest here. It gives us a decent ambush chance. This army would be pretty good at ambush. We just rush up to them, neutralize their range, neutralize their siege weapons. We want peace. Minus two. Minus two. What we can do is just march this army up, so she can take this by herself next turn. We can wrap this army around. Right, we don't need to take Yunnan. That falls beyond our realm of going tall with minimum commanderies. So we're done here. We turn this army around, and we can get back to Zhangke in a few turns and counterattack, basically. And also fight Mulu, who holds the other piece of Jianning and Zhangke, which we need. So we can also swing that army around over here and launch our attack this way. I believe that's the only two pieces of land they have. So maybe we don't peace out with them, let them take it, and then we just keep pulling back, let them take two pieces, and then we swing around, kind of race with them for a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Obviously not ideal, but um, we're going to try to not solve everything by looping here. Honestly, leveling this up and getting a multiplier for food is probably what we need here instead of getting a private workshop. So let's get that going. Can we get someone yeah, with a chest to at least stand close to the borders for us? I'm going to march her over. It will boost the food output. I think it also gives us a T upgrade. Ah, oh, we already have level 5. They they leveled it up for us. A different story. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's get a diplomat chest to trade in the future. Action Council, Peasantry boost, Set Item boost. We're good with money, maybe just a Set Item boost. She is single. It's a basically we paid five hundred instead of two thousand. Devastated enemy city. I don't need that actually. All right, this is good. Commerce boost plus peasantry boost. Or actually, I'll take the item since it's a set. It could be gold. Uh, we lost. Uh, it's not great. Yeah, as long as they can rush over here in turn, which they can, the bonus would be good. Mm, definitely future administrator. We don't have that many sentinels, so she's a winner. Once we capture the capital of Jinning, we'll put her in. She technically will get kicked out of Zhangke if they take it, but if they don't take it, I still want her in Jinning next turn, so I'm going to actually cancel her voluntarily here. Also not going to upgrade the trade port, most likely going to lose that. They didn't fall for the ambush, but we can still attack them. He wants quite a lot for this peace deal. What's the valuation? No, take our settlement. Go take it. We'll take your, we'll take your settlement after. Yep, I'll let them have it. Technically, with that one cavalry unit that we have, we can definitely loop this army and just beat the whole thing. They raised it by a tier. We had to rebuild that. We failed. We didn't get a small boost. Oh, there are a couple vanguards. We can look at those. No, pass. He is not... Yeah, I don't trust him. This could be a spy, so no go here. He lost his administrator job, which is why he is unhappy. 19, 18 points. I think he'll be fine. 
Obviously, it'd be better if he was happier, but um, we can't control that. Free take here. I don't want to put him here, do I? He has an extra 10% of commerce, so he's better. He's definitely way better at Zanke. So we throw her here. We definitely want to upgrade this. Does she have a chest? She does not. Get her industrialist chest. Uh, we could keep this uh, for a few turns. Not terrible right now. But eventually, I think, because we can't upgrade it, we probably just want to swap it over to the T version. Unless we want to farm elephants, I think we can wipe out Mulu right now. Let's have a talk. It's two points. How much to... Oh, can't trade territories. Okay, that's a problem. We could use a temporary piece just to wipe out Mulu. But those are two pieces of land that we need anyways, and we can stop losing land on this side. It's only two costs. It's very cheap. I don't want to do any drag out multiple turn payment situation. Because we're going to end up going back to war with him. Let's teach him how to be friends. You know, the civilized way. If we were able to take this last turn and then got the piece out before they took it, it'd been better, but can't have everything. We can pick up Night Battle here, and they have not landed. Okay, so they could still land. We could still pick them off here. It would be a lot worse if they do go here, but hopefully that's not the case. Run this over. Get this upgraded. Our adopted son, what do we do with you? All right, we're going to take this bad deal here. Could have done it when he was still the administrator. We could recall him. Decently close. Can't recall her. She needs to provide the bonus. To speed up the build here. I'm going to give him a temporary title. He's going to have this title in the future anyways. Because he will go back to Zonkul. So I'm just going to have him placehold that ahead of time. I don't think we have the food to tear this up anymore. Hold on to that. We got him. Came all this way to fall into our ambush. Um... I actually have no interest to actually fight this. We're running a bunch of Axe Militias into them. We're dealing with Sun Ce, who has a Flame of the Phoenix, which absolutely crushes us. Like, this is not a pretty fight on the field, right? They're going to heal each other as we fight. Ah, he's wearing the chest. Good for him, although he's not in a Prime Minister position right now, so... That bonus is not going to carry over. Uh, I think we definitely beat the Tiger Guards 1v1 with Axe Band. Just dealing with the generals is where things get difficult. We don't have any good generals. 
yeah, pretty much convinced myself. I think we're going to take the delegate here. And we lose Imperial Favor because we're on the offensive side of the ambush. I don't think we chase and wipe them out. Our characters are not... Oh, Gondul is destroyed. Uh, Reddy kind of picked him once before. Let's pick someone else. Oh, they auto got wiped? That's not cool. They recovered some of their land, so I guess I don't have to do anything. They're they're doing just fine. Do we need this stack? Is the question. Do we counter march and grab maybe a food? I guess that breaks the rules. We don't get none high. We only can have what we set out for our five commanders. Oh. Wait, Liu Qi would not be a bad choice. We're going generic. He's a vanguard. We would have to pay for this. I mean, that's that's reasonable. They get along. You know, that's that's a win-win. We rather not do food. I can give them another diplomat's chest. We have three of them. And really don't need the common tier items. That one has surplus market, which isn't terrible. Do maybe this. A little bit of payment. We'll throw in an extra here. You know, good number. Red envelope for the marriage. Yeah, this is excellent. He also comes with items. He has an armor on him. And a gold armor. And a water clock for replenishment. Brought over some infantry of Jing. Okay, good skills. We can maybe form an army here with Liu Qi. To retake this in the future. Uh, we could go Raider Cav. It's even cheaper than Lance Militia. Let's just stick to the militias. I don't know if we want to build him up. Like I don't know how fast we want to go back to war with him. Now, lady, sure, we'll probably get our wife out on the field. Yeah, Simon's one more turn. We could cancel it early. We'll set them up next turn. Double strategists. I mean, we don't have anything better. I mean, she could. Be that better choice with the well actually where is our there's our superstitious girl we're gonna need her to join that army i know she currently has the item to help us build but once this build order goes through she can maybe take a quick step here to give us the next building in two turns and then she can go here afterwards and join them. And then we can farm for that superstitious title unlock. Uh, they can stay here with that stack. I don't think we need to disarm or disband that right away. Still going well. Still very short on characters, but that's pretty good. Now, Liu Bao is now family. Uh, we can't have him because he's unique, but we can maybe go after some of the other family members he has. In the future. Um, yeah, we'll build a tier one first and then we're gonna go for this.
This is a very tricky terrain situation. Uh, we'll march after this turn. Yeah, we don't have enough food to go all the way to small regional, so we're going to hold off on that. He is definitely trespassing. Oh, we do have military access. Never mind, I lied. More kids for us. I wonder what his surname is going to be, the daughter, given that he's adopted. Oh, it's still going to be drunk. Okay, I mean, kept his name. That's fair. If we do run into a... burn officer, I think we do adopt. Alright, run here, gonna have to wait a turn, and then she can run the other way later. Uh, Lady Shri can stay. Yudin would be the best place. This upgrade's done. Doesn't look that strong. I think that's the default stash. Do they ever want peace? Just curious. Minus 3.7 trade agreement. Seven points. Uh, it'd be nice if they send another stack and we wipe that. Because that's going to basically set us up for a better peace deal. I think she's earned the better weapon now. All right, he's resummoned him back in the north, so I, I think he's not going to be fighting us anytime soon. We could go reclaim that some of that land and then give it back. A little bit fighting Tall Tall. A lot more kids. Uh, we're going to have a huge family. Uh, we're going to do this properly. We'll declare war. Oh. It's now positive 12.3. Trade agreement. It's what we want the most. Um, I don't think we can get any of this. I mean, even if we get it, we're going to be giving it away. He gets to keep Nahai this way. It's a very good deal for him. Doesn't really affect us, to be honest. Peace. Plus trade. It's like our vassal loses a little bit of land, but it really doesn't affect us.
Yeah, we'll take this deal. Yeah, we can immediately disband this army because we don't need to pay for that upkeep. We're not going to go to war with about anytime soon. We'll have to wipe out our Naman threat first. Is she going to recall most of them? She has construction chest. He's her his chest timed out. She's also the administrator of Changwu, so she can stay here. This is where she should be. Now we might have a few assignment characters to play around with. Uh, she's in the right place. Government support. We're not going to return to war with them just yet. We'll see if they come attack us first. I don't think she'll be an administrator. I mean... He's not a minister right now, so I guess the setup is fine. Let's see if he attacks us first. Uh, no thanks. Alright, they will come at us, which they drag out the garrison as well. Not worried. Alrighty, unfortunately this battle also crashed the game, so I gotta check to see if it's an issue with the verification files or something like that, but let's see how things go. There's no mods. It could also just be the battle dragging on a little bit too long. It's an interesting fight because the terrain is actually... Uh, very uneven. There's this big hill in the middle that cuts vision, so we're pretty much opting to be on this side of this hill where we can't really see what's going on over there. And we're gonna do this setup here with our juggernauts. Gonna have to run them over. It'll be fine. The enemy will spend some time regrouping with the reinforcement that they have. And we can have plenty of time to get our men up to speed here. Uh, we probably could even go a little farther. I don't want to be on the hill, because then the Juggernaut becomes a little bit useless. They can't shoot the flames. Uh, it, the, the flatter it is, the better. They can shoot it at a certain angle, but nothing too crazy. Spread out these guys. And we'll go look for fights. I'll run them up. Actually, hide them here. We're gonna have to stand here to get some vision. We well, don't have to rush the shots. Speed this up. We have a decent amount of fire, but not enough. Like, no flaming shot, no fire arrows. Take him off. Dismount, fight him. Uh, can we stop wasting our ammo like that? 
All right, with our dual swords dismounted, we should be able to kill him without too much problem. We just get into the animation. Now, having the elephant right here is not good. Let's shoot that. That you can fire all you want. Juggernauts move forward, clear some space. Ooh. I can dismount and fight him too if I want. But yeah, let's murder the elephants first. They're trying to kill our general. The charge damage is going to be pretty painful. Ow. Alright, the elephant's gone. So is most of our ammo. Chase that. Remount. I think I can outhack him. This is a worse situation than we thought. Help him out. Not in range yet. He's been knocked. We can kill him. He's not that important to this battle. No heal or anything like that. We have more health, but it's going to be close. We'll sit here for a while. Snipe her. Think we can try to get behind them? Still a little bit ahead. Now we're very behind. All right, out of ammo. Give them auto fire. Dead body of an elephant blocking us. If he dies, right, I want the in. Oh, we might win. 1.3, 1.9. Come on. Wish them best of luck. Loop around. Oh, he used the ability. Oh, we won! Oh, stupid elephant. Unleash. Let's even get them out. burn ourselves. Oh, 
Let's get him out of there. Alright, all their infantry are toast. Literally toast. Alright, she's gonna route. We got this. Army lost already. I mean, we took some casualties for sure. But not enough to stop us from taking the settlement next turn here and then wiping out Mulu eventually. We got ourselves an elephant. Perfect. So we're going to have to adopt him or marry him into the family or... Yes, we'll accept. More trustworthiness coming back our way. Yeah, the tricky part is incorporating these generals into our faction because they have to be family members. And once our kids come of age, we'll have plenty of people to marry around, but right now we don't, so... It's nice that we got him. Got myself an elephant. Yeah, and as someone mentioned before, uh, all the Naman generals commend perceptiveness and admires intelligence. Every single one, every single generic, uh, like, basically... Carbon copy. Developers just kind of rushed it. Could have just put a random lies in there. It doesn't matter. A lot of good fondness here. His traits. I care less. We only wanted this war elephant and we got it. Let's pick up this. Let's see what we can do here. I think we do want this. We could also pick this up. For the melee armor increasing damage increase, melee attack increase for her, better use of those weapons, night battle eventually. <laughs> he was ready very low, it wasn't going to go much lower. Alright, that's a decent save point. We picked up entirety of Jianning. Zhangke is the only place with tea that we can grab, and then Mulu here is wiped. And then we'll go back to war with Meng Huo. Just a quick one, because we're not looking to gain any land, and he might counterattack us back here around Jianning's settlement, so we gotta watch that. Um, we're probably gonna attack him with this army over here just to take this, and then this army to stay over here to fend off the Nunman threat. It's a perfect army setup against Nunman forces, some cavalry, some fire, some defense. And then we're going to have to rebuild a different type of army over here to go to war with uh, Liu Biao, which is probably still this army here. We'll send his own son back at him to take some of his land. We could also wait till he dies of old age, which might happen any time now, 65. And once he dies, maybe Liu Bei takes this land, and that's a good excuse for Liu Qi to kind of reclaim some of the land that his father lost uh, in that confederation business. We still have a few vassals alive. Unfortunately, Liu Ji is not a family member, so what we could do is we could incorporate her faction with the annex, right? We could adopt our current um, Naman general and marry her to him. That way we have both of them in the family. She was a family member. Like, I don't know if she's, she's definitely not one right now or else we'll be getting points from her, right? We only get 20 points to the 30. So that she basically didn't have a kid with our brother, and our brother died. So unfortunately, she does not count. And we can hand out these land again. We can create two vassals instead of just one. We can create one in Gaoliang. We can create one in Hepu. 
That way we don't keep the land and we have some more family members out there. Some of the wives basically can go, especially since they have given us our grandkids. So many grandkids. Our middle son, who's been complaining a lot, is actually not bad as an administrator, so I guess he can stay. But like, his wife, minus two construction time on those land might be a good thing. I think we can tr try something like that, basically incorporate Uzi into our faction. She would be quite useful as a general on the field. So we'll look forward to that. She has a huge replenishment bonus, which is why we want her. And then we can create two vassals instead of one, two trade partners. Uh, we're already untrustworthy. It's only been six years since that. We're going to refresh that, essentially. And then just stay tall, defend, and then go from there. <laughs> our our Cyan brother which just started to like us, and then we're going to annex again. I don't think we can wait till Confederation. It's going to be too much, 14 points away. That we'll probably get after we pick up Zanke and um, the entirety of it. So we'll rank up once. We'll wait a little bit. We don't have to do that right away. And we'll see how that goes. So, until next time. Bye!